MicroStation Essentials place text. Text is a very useful element type that is very helpful when you need to place labels on your design other than dimensions. Text has many different types of attributes such as font, height, width, and many others. All of those attributes are stored in a named text style. The text word processor allows for many standard word processing features such as bold, italicize, and underline. In addition, when you place or edit text, you have several additional options available through your tool settings window. Let's look at how text works. So text can be used to label something. It can certainly be used for doing charts or tables. You'll find place text inside the drawing task. And here are several different text commands. Place text and edit text are found here. When you select place text, MicroStation automatically opens up the text word processor. And the text word processor is where you would type in your text. Here you can see currently I'm using some sort of centered text, but I can easily change that based on my justification for my tool settings. So for my tool settings, I have the option of picking a text style. In this case, I have text styles such as Arial, Arial Bold, DD Text, Elevations, Engineering. You can name it whatever you want to. So in some cases, it's named after a font. In some cases, it's named after a specific requirement or need. So here's Notes and Title. So for example, if I picked up Elevations, it automatically changes several of the features inside here, including the font, the justification, and other features. If I choose a different one, such as engineering, again, font changes and other things change as well. Arial picks up Arial. In this case, we also have the ability inside our text word processor to change our font. Here's all your true type fonts. After your true type fonts, you have access to AutoCAD fonts. And at the also at the very beginning of the list, you have access to Bentley fonts for, for MicroStation. So this is where you type text. You can control the color of text. You can simply highlight this and change the color up here. You can make it bold, italicized, underlined, do a spell check, work with fractions, add symbols such as the pound sign or the percent symbol or many other symbols that are available inside the Arial font, and uh, superscript and subscript. Once you've actually got the text typed in, you have many different methods of placing it. In this case, you can do it by origin. Then there are several other types of methods to place text. You can also key in your own height and width. And if you decide that's too big, you can always go back and change those. You can change your justification from the left top to left center to left bottom, center top, center center, and additional ones as well. If you have multiple lines, you can add spacing in between each line, and you can add spacing in between each character. In order to place it, it's simply a data point. You'll notice that MicroStation continues to allow you to place the same command over and over again, because MicroStation is a continuous application. So it continues with the same command until you choose a new command. So I can continue to place the same piece of text over and over again if I wanted to. Text styles are found under Settings, Element, and Text Styles. The Element pull-down menu and Text Styles. Here you'll find several additional attributes like color, fractions, more spacing, more underline and overline options, including a background color, and the ability to look at all of these features at one time. 
You can then save a text style, create a new text style, copy a text style, delete a text style. Once you've placed some text, you may want to edit it. When you select Edit Text, you simply select the text you wish to edit, and that automatically brings up the text word processor. Here you can do things like change the font and style. You can change the height, the width, and also apply your annotation scale. So if I wanted to change the font here to, let's say, Calibri, and make some changes to the text itself, then in order to make these changes take, you simply click once outside the text word processor with your left mouse button. So in this case, I've edited the text as well as changed the font. There are many other text commands, such as spell check. You can do a match text settings, change text attributes. There are fields available for you. So if you wanted to actually place a text field, you can do that. And a text field would take a property of an element or the property of a some other feature inside the software and apply it. So text is a very powerful feature inside MicroStation, and you'll be able to find it from the drawing toolbox, uh, to, from the drawing task. Useful for putting in labels in your design other than dimensions. Attributes are stored in text styles. The text word processor allows for standard word processing features, and you have several placement options when you do placing and editing of text.